So what we're trying to do is try to find this intersection between content and technology that the brands could, would be interested in. So re a really interesting uh, uh, piece of content that could be distributed in an uh, engaging uh, uh, way to the, to the consumers. And we've been doing a lot of uh, work with multinational brands and local brands, uh, trying to get their brands into the proper right of content. So we're trying to identify content producers and content owners who might be big corporations out of the uh, traditional legacy media or new uh, content uh, owners and producers who are not necessarily looking for the mainstream media to distribute for, the, for, for different ways of uh, distribution and trying to create this common opportunities between what they're looking for and what the brands are looking for. There are two big advantages. One of them is you get to tell the story in more than 30 seconds, right? Uh, which sometimes is not enough to uh, tell enough of your story to catch the, the, uh, uh, the attention of the, of the viewers. <laughs> the other thing is our attention span has diminished uh, because of technology and because of lifestyle to become really short. The 30 seconds that just passed like this so while watching TV and fiddling with your uh, galaxy and fiddling with your tablet, you can miss anything. So the, the opportunity is, uh, is to look at how you can uh, make sure that the viewer who are looking at the, at the entertainment content still see your ad and still interact with it. Now the biggest challenge is how you can do this with scale. Because when you want to create engaging experiences, these are experiences that usually need resources, whether time or people or money. So how you can do it with big scale enough and efficiently enough to work for the brand, this is the challenge. So one, one of the ways to commercialize the creative capabilities of all these uh, creative people is by creating more value for the brand so that the brands can allocate more budgets behind this, uh, uh, this matter. There's a huge amount of money being placed currently on producing traditional advertising. I'm talking about the production uh, process itself, producing TVCs or radio or whatever. And uh, this budget is currently completely disconnected from what the creative people who produce long format do. So, uh, and at the same time, the advertising, traditional advertising budget are going down. So the trend is, is clear there, is how you can uh, create content in advance, making sure that the brands would be interested to allocate some of their production budget uh, behind it.